The FDA um, has accepted the larotrectinib new drug application and the so-called PDUFA date, which is the date that they're obligated to um, come back with an answer, is the end of November, but we're hopeful that we'll um, see a response sometime before that. How would I use this in my own patients? I have a unique population in the sense that I see mostly early drug development patients. So ideally, the, these patients who have NTREC fusions and were first identified with NTREC fusions would be ideal for those patients. In the community, um, I think uh, uh, as a community doc, if, if a patient does appear to have an NTREC fusion and they are refractory to their standard chemotherapy, I think this is a great option for those patients. And in some cases where uh, patients have no standard chemotherapy, this should be the in my opinion, the first, uh, uh, the, uh, first uh, line in therapy in that context. The hope is that larotrectinib gets approved by the FDA. And if it does get approved, of course, it underscores the importance of screening the solid tumors for these NTRAC fusions. I will certainly use larotrectinib in the frontline setting for patients who have stage four advanced disease but are treatment naive. That's based on the fact that we're seeing a very high response rate that really beats many standard of care therapies across the board for different tumor types. Use of these inhibitors post-approval is really gonna be contingent, number one, on identifying patients with track fusions. So the testing obviously is the first and very critical component. Once we identify a patient that has a track fusion, I think the treatment algorithm becomes really much more straightforward in that we're going to be you know, very compelled to use these agents um, relatively uh, early due to their e extremely favorable side effect profile and very striking degree of efficacy.